Hey guys, CB Super here. I made this little water tool just using a simple fast noise, just playing with some of the settings. Now, obviously, it does. it's not a realistic water. It's a stylized water, which I believe even in the manual it says, hey, you can use fast noise for stylized fire, stylized water, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and jump in here and take a look at how we made this. Um, and as you can see, it's just one node. It's it's called water, but it's just a fast noise. And I'm gonna show you how to make this really quickly. But before we jump in here, um, play around with these settings to get what you're looking for. And it doesn't have to be water. It could be any kind of liquid. It could be, uh, you could even lighten it up and, and make it some kind of a rolly smoke. Um, it could be lava. Uh, it could be pretty much any fluid that you like. And then of course you could also mask this into objects like say, into a rectangle. Maybe I just want it to be inside of a, some kind of mass shape, like a, I don't know, like a snow globe or, or, or a bottle or something, and it would animate inside of that bottle, which is pretty cool. But anyways, let me show you how I made this really quickly. Let's go ahead and disconnect this, and we'll move this over here, and we'll go ahead and bring in a new fast noise. And we'll just go ahead and plug this into the media out. And if you click this little button over here, if for whatever reason your inspector's only taking up half of the screen real estate, uh, you click this little button here and it'll um, drop it down the full right side of the uh, panel. And let's go ahead and just give ourselves a little bit of real estate. We don't really need to see um, the node graph. In fact, we could actually even just turn that node off. Uh, so all we see is, uh, is this, because we're just gonna be working inside of one node today and it's just gonna be inside this uh, media out and in the inspector. All right, so some of the settings that I like to use is, um, you can leave most of these settings the way they are. I'll probably turn contrast up a little bit and then I'll probably turn brightness all the way up to one. Uh, detail is, uh, we're gonna go into detail a little bit later. Same with scale. Scale, contrast, and detail are things that we're gonna really dive into a little bit later. Um, we can turn the seed rate up just a hair, but seed rate is, um, it's definitely going to affect uh, what the water is actually doing. But just to get us uh, on the right track, let's go ahead and jump over to the uh, color tab and change it where it says type to color. Let's go ahead and change it to gradient. And instead of uni, let's go down to linear. Now I've played around with linear before and I've showed you how you can do different effects, uh, making like portals and stuff using this. And if you haven't watched any of those videos up in the right hand corner, maybe there'll be a link, maybe there won't. So one of the things we're going to want to do is we're going to want to play with this uh, gradient slider. And we're actually going to want to create more points. But first, let's go ahead and back out just a little bit so we can kind of see what we're looking at. And we have these, uh, these sliders here. We have a start and we have an end slider. And you'll notice when I move these, you'll see these numbers increasing and decreasing. One of the things we're going to want to do is we're going to want to leave uh, black on the left. We want to click on this right triangle and We'll just come to a water-like color, which in our case will be blue for now. But we also want to pull this slider over. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna create more black, but in the black, we actually want the black to be transparent. So we're gonna drive the alpha all the way up. Or if you're looking at it on the slider here, we're gonna turn it all the way to zero. What that's gonna do is that's gonna take all that black and it's gonna turn it into transparency or alpha. Now that we did that, we also want maybe, um, Put another point in here and maybe just like a light blue or even a white so that way when we start compressing this line and we'll shift it over so that it's you know a little bit more water like you know you get to decide how much of the water the real estate it takes up in the screen um, if you just want it at the very bottom you know you just you bring both of these points down uh, if you want the line to be a little bit uh, more compressed, you can do it this way. You can also come into the noise section here and you can uh, turn this contrast all the way down. It'll basically turn it into just a line, all right? And you're not gonna get any movement, any noticeable movement. So the contrast slider is gonna change the way that um, the noise looks. But it's also the detail slider is also going to change the way that the noise looks. So remember that the detail slider just increases the amount of um, I don't want to call it particles. I'm going to call it noise because it isn't particles. There is a particle system. Um, this is just a noise generator. So it's just giving you more detail in the noise so that it can adhere to whatever the pattern is. 
Brightness, uh, really it's just going to drive it up or down. Brightness isn't going to do a whole lot when we're dealing with this, but scale will. So if we bump the scale up, it's going to make it way more turbulent. Um, because remember what we're doing is we're taking that pattern and we're basically pushing it farther away from the camera. So now you're going to see more of it versus if we scale it down, you're going to get much, much closer to your pattern edge, uh, which is going to make it look like it's it's going to make it less noticeable. It, this is like if you were zooming all the way in almost to like the pixel level. Uh, but the nice thing about the noise generator is that you don't see the pixels, which is pretty cool. So play around with the noise play around with the contrast to get um, how much uh, movement that you want and also you can play around with the detail now notice when you do drive the detail up it's going to play slower it's gonna be a little bit more computationally heavy so sometimes you can drive the detail down and raise some of the contrast and it's almost like you're doing a similar thing. The only difference is if you want it to get like a nice frothy um, like top, you're going to have to give it more detail so it has more things to work with. The seethe rate, if you bump the seethe rate up too high, it's going to get really crazy. And when we render it out, you'll see that it's just going to it's going to move very quickly and it's going to be very um, erratic. You can play around with the discontinuous and the inverted and you will get slightly different looks depending also on scale. If you have this scaled up way out, you might get like more of a, an energy effect. So it kind of be kind of a liquidy energy effect. Could be pretty cool. You play around with that if you like. And then over here in the color gradient, you can also play around with, say if we were changing these colors. So remember whenever you're changing these colors, if you want to change this base color, it's the far right. Um, so right now it's blue. Say if we want to go to like kind of a, I don't know, like a lava-ish. You can start playing with that. You can also introduce other colors into this as well. It doesn't have to be so specific. And you can kind of see how we start getting towards like maybe doing fire or even you could have like a mudslide. I mean, there's all kinds of different things you can do. Just remember that this is more for stylized. You could put like a little boat on here and have them floating across the water. Uh, pretty much, you know, the possibilities are endless for motion graphics and small animations for using stuff like this. And the nice thing about this is we've already got our own built-in transparency uh, by using the alpha here and that's pretty much it I'm actually going to have this uh, fast noise I'm just gonna turn it into not a macro I'm actually gonna turn it just leave it and save it out as a template um, if you guys want to have just an easier way to get started you can just go and download the template it'll be just on my website um, it's totally free you can download it you can play around with it and it'll kind of give you like um, just kind of a head start or you know you can just come in here and you can make your own pretty easily as we just showed and just remember, um, you can always add some movement. So in this X parameter, if we want to just double click on this and hit the equal sign, uh, that'll drop down an expression window. Um, we can come into just after parentheses, but before the, um, the comma, you could say time times. Uh, maybe we'll give it like a, a negative 0 0.05. Click off. And then now it's going to move from right to left. So it's kind of like it's actually has some motion and that might be a little bit fast. You might want to just add another zero in there, uh, but it's really up to you and it all depends on what you're actually trying to achieve. Uh, if this is what you're trying to achieve, then absolutely. You can add motion blur to this, but because this is more stylized, you know, it's totally up to you if you guys want to uh, add more motion blur or anything like that. Uh, you could add glows to this um, and it's pretty easy. So if we just come back over into the nodes, Give ourselves just a little bit more room here. Maybe we'll just add a glow. And you can just play around with it. Um, that's kind of just changing the color, but uh, maybe we'll do a uh, soft glow. Yeah, okay. So you can just play around with it. Um, as you guys saw from the, uh, from the demo, um, I use it as like a water. This is just something I made it for a project a little while back and uh, I didn't really have a video this week, so I thought I'd go ahead and just show you guys how to do this really quickly. Um, there's there's so many things you can do with fast noise. It's really a, it's a powerful noise generator. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Feel free to go ahead and download this. Uh, link is down in the description. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.